Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Peter Byrne and this is the Press Review. Today we take a look at a report filed by Nolan Peterson, a former special operations pilot and combat veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan. He files a 3,000 word report from the combat zone titled, This is what the war in Ukraine looks like. The Daily Signal, a year old news site run by the Heritage Foundation, the conservative think tank, published the report on June 20th. In Pisky, combined Russian separatist forces violate the ceasefire every day with heavy artillery barrages, including 120 millimeter and 152 millimeter shells, tank attacks, sniper, and automatic grenade launcher fire. The Daily Signal was among the first foreign media outlets to embed with the regular Ukrainian army during an eight day period in Pisky from June 8th to June 15th, 2015. Peterson writes that Ukrainian troops near Donetsk face persistent lethal attacks. The Ukrainian forces are forced to defend themselves by bringing up heavy weapons banned by the Minsk Peace Accords. The separatist artillery barrages are relentless and are coupled with daily tank attacks and persistent sniper fire, making Pisky a deadly place for Ukrainian soldiers who are hunkered down here to prevent a separatist breakout. Russian-backed militants, referred to in the dispatch as combined Russian separatist fighters, have been attacking Ukrainian positions almost every day since the pseudo-ceasefire declaration was signed. The notion that the Ukraine ceasefire is still largely holding or even being followed at all is fiction. Peterson's lengthy account of the horrors of war in eastern Ukraine is documented with photographs and a 21-minute YouTube clip illustrating the horrors of Russia's unremitting invasion of Ukraine. This has been Peter Byrne with the Press Review. Join us again next week for another edition.